Well, we really don't know too many details at the moment. What we know is that earlier in the afternoon, people heard an explosion and we were hearing reports from many people who work near this location that there were the sounds of gunshots um, and even reports from people inside this building who were hiding. So this is a very upscale complex. There are hotels uh, or there's a hotel, there's a conference center. There are several international offices, um, including, for example, some aid organizations. Um, and it's a very popular uh, uh, location. There are also some restaurants and uh, the reports that we're hearing is that perhaps one of the uh, explosions began in the restaurant. Um, now, we don't have much more information. We've seen some photos um, of people being taken out who appear to be injured, but we don't have a sense because the government has not made a statement yet. They plan to do so uh, shortly, but at the moment, um, we, we really are still waiting on information. Caroline, this brings back horrific memories of uh, that attack on a shopping centre in Nairobi in 2013. Yes, that's right. So actually, it was only about five years ago that was the last major attack. And, you know, uh, it had been a long time in this area that people had really felt uh, the threat of these terror attacks to such an extreme as when this um, attack happened in Westgate Mall in 2013. Um, but there had always been a risk. There had been every once in a while, there were warnings that there could be something occurring. Um, and there is security at a lot of locations. And that's actually what has made this uh, pretty particularly uh, shocking um, for a lot of people because this location is actually one of the places in the city that's considered very secure. It had several layers of security. They had a security even to enter the compound and then they had security to enter each building. And it's quite popular for that reason. There are very high up officials, including uh, even ambassadors who will hold news conferences there. So it's, it's quite um, a well-known and upscale location that's being targeted.